So back at home, coming from Highway 308, um, there was a bridge uh, where my next door, well, next door, I ain't gonna say next door neighbor, but where the barber used to live. And that bridge crosses a canal, and this canal um, is not a, really a flowing canal. And growing up, we knew we had all kinds of snakes, especially water moccasins um, that was in the water. And I can remember many times the quickest route was to cross this bridge to get home instead of going, I would say about a half a mile down to cross the road. Um, that was a safe, a safer path because the foundation of it is it's a road and it crosses over um, the canal that is filled with water moccasins. But most of the times in my dream, that area um, had so much water to where you can't tell that was the right path to take to cross to get home. And so when you cross this bridge, we know that was some loose woods and, and cracks in the foundation um, of this um, bridge. So we didn't wanna, you know, take no chances of, well, I, not we, I didn't wanna take no chances of, of going across this bridge with the risk of the bridge collapsing me falling in the water. With a, bunch of, uh, with a lot of water moccasins in it. And so, some of the challenges I would take, sometimes I would run and happen, run over the bridge and cross, or I would take a different route. But I noticed as I got closer and, and understanding uh, what was going on in my dream, I was able to run and leap to where I'm leaping like 50 to 60 yards and all that stuff to where I can almost basically jumped the canal. And I can remember at one point, not taking a bridge, but just running through the field, I remember jumping and feet barely landing at the part of the bank, the part of the canal, and a water moccasin coming up trying to attach itself to my leg. And after doing um, some studies and all that stuff, dealing with, uh, with as far as from the prophetic what that represent in the spiritual realm is um, most of the prophetic uh, people that operate and move that God used them in the prophetic talk about that it's a spirit just trying to frustrate or, or stop your movement. And it's gonna make sense as I um, continue to, to talk about and just give you more depth into what I've been dreaming throughout my life. So one thing that goes on in my dream, um, which we know for y'all that um, have a relationship um, with Christ and, and understand that um, his way is different from what man has created and the man system that he functioned in, in the world and all that stuff. So when you dream of snakes, you know, they have spiritual represent to um, demonic attacks. One thing that I do in my dreams is like whenever there are snakes involved or water moccasins where it's pythons, I have no fear at all. Um, but what I do is when I see snakes and all that stuff or, or around me, I, I grab them and I just rip them apart with my hands. And I remember one dream in particular, which probably happened about a few days ago, and this is all taking place back home. And um, uh, we were in this certain area in my town and I couldn't see the person, but there was this, I guess, brown or orange looking pipe down that was around this guy. And I, I couldn't see the person um, clearly. And I immediately grabbed the snake. And as soon as I touched the snake, the snake went limp to where it was not struggling, it was not biting, and it was a pipe down. And I grabbed his head and I ripped his head off. And I understand what that means from what um, God has been sharing with me through scriptures and through my and, and dreams. And looking back from what people have spoke over my life, I'm dealing with that my hands are anointed. And I remember that, and when I had this dream, and I think about all the dreams of me just ripping snakes up in my dreams with my hands, 
killing snakes with my hand, just ripping their head off. Um, I want to do some more depth into that, but what I recall um, a long time ago, when God revealed to uh, um, another minister that my hands were anointed.